Hi everyone again, we're back. My name is Ellen Muth and you're here about the Ellen Muth channel and Korean beauty products and multiple other aesthetics and beauty care devices and other things that um, I found I've gained interest in when I'm not filming in between because I get asked a lot what I do in between filming. So I'm trying to show some of the things that I've found interest in over the years that's fun and that I've gained a lot of experience and research in. So one of the products I showed you the other day in my last video was Curanex. And uh, that's when I had that drain bramage and couldn't remember exactly <laughs> what it was. I thought it was glutathione, but it's actually another PDRN, which I showed you the alaxin, which is PDRN, which comes from salmon DNA. What I didn't tell you is, now this has great benefits, first of all, and it's used all over Asia and in parts of Europe and in Russia, found to help a lot with, apparently, research shows that the DNA in salmon is somehow very similar to the DNA which we as human beings have. Um, and if you believe in Darwin at all, then um, I guess you might agree with that, uh, or Darwin's theory. And so this is supposed to help with regeneration of uh, the skin and with the epidermis and with collagen reproduction and with uh, stimulate, stimulating fibroblasts which stimulate the production of collagen which brings volume and glow and um, regenerates new cells to build uh, new cellular growth on the epidermis of the skin, which is the part of the skin which we see on the outside. And the more collagen you have and the more hyaluronic acid you have, which is a natural acid found in our skin, which after age 25 goes on the downhill, and that's when we start to lose volume in our face, and once we hit our 30s, we tend to see very tiny lines in different parts of our face, and that's because we're losing both collagen and hyaluronic acid, which is causing not only the breakdown of uh, the cellular makeup of um, the skin, but the volume that we're losing is causing these lines, which um, is not attractive very much, but at the same time, if uh, we didn't have any wrinkles in our face or the elasticity to move the skin in our face, like if you were to inject your whole face with Botox, um, we wouldn't be able to smile or make expressions or remove our eyebrows. Um, so anyway, getting back to what I was saying, this is supposed to regenerate collagen growth and uh, skin cell growth and uh, stimulate the fibroblasts which are fibroblasts which are what create collagen. Where the DNA comes from in the salmon may or may not be of interest to people who are planning to use this. Um, comes from the sperm. So they only get the PDRN from the male salmon, ob for obvious reasons, and they found that the DNA that comes from the salmon's sperm is best for uh, reproduction, which would, <laughs> which would make sense if you think about sperm and reproduction. Yeah, anyway, I could think of much less expensive ways now. Um, yeah, so moving on. We're going to be putting this on our face. <clears throat> now, this is the first time I've actually used a PDR before. 
There are many different brands. Kiranex, which I'm using, is a popular brand and uh, recognized. They also sell skincare products, which are just topical skincare. But this, we are going to microneedle today. And what microneedling, these come in ampules, by the way. They don't come in uh, syringes. So if you can see that, that's what the ampule looks like. And it's five millimeter, five milliliters of fluid, which is a good amount, actually, because you get five vials in one box. And this uh, box, it, so it's five millimeters times five vials, so you get 25 millime milliliters of uh, PDRN, and you want to use it once every three to four weeks, either three to four times. So you get a lot of product for your money. This was not an expensive box. I got it from acecosm.com, which is spelled like Ace the Card, A-C-E-C-O-S-M, like the beginning of cosmetic, so acecosm.com, and you can use my discount code if you decide to go to the site, and it'll take 10% off your entire order, and the discount code is E-A-M, as in mother, 10, so Ellen on a Muth, 10 for 10% off, E-A-M-10 at uh, acecosm.com. When you go to the checkout, it'll be a box that says discount code, and that's where you put in E-A-M-10. They'll take 10% off your entire order. Everything is inexpensive on their site as it is. Uh, it's about 500% less expensive than buying these things in the States. Okay, so microneedling, what it is, I have one of the most uh, common brand pens, uh, which is called Dr. Pen, and doctors, uh, plastic surgeons, cosmetic surgeons, uh, aestheticians, cos I think, uh, cos uh, Beauticians, I think they can use them as well in a professional uh, manner. I think uh, their license covers microneedling because part of the law is that if you are using a needle or a pin which is hollow in the middle and pushes a product out of that needle or pin and goes into the skin, you need a special license. You have to be either an RN nurse, a BSN, which is a nurse with a bachelor's, or an APRN, or a doctor uh, to be able to use, um, paramedics can use them as well, to be able to use actual um, uh, needles which are hollow and you can actually push product through. However, Micro needles, which by law cannot be more than 2.5 millimeter millimeters, which you probably can't even see how tiny. Let me see if how tiny that is. It does not penetrate very deeply into the skin. Um. So that's the maximum depth that it can go into the skin and that you can do at home safely, so the law says. Um, and because it's not hollow, I can't push product out of this device. So when you're microneedling, what you have to do is the product that you're using, you have to put on your face first, and a good amount in order for it to actually penetrate the skin. And then what this does is, first of all, you have to make sure that your pen is on the zero here. I, this is the 
Dr. Pen M8, which I believe is still the most recent pen and the latest pen that they've made. And I found it works wonderfully. Uh, even doctors can't go uh, deeper than 2.5 millimeters because it's just not considered micro needling anymore. You might as well use like um, a an insulin syringe or something if you're going to go deeper than that. Because you don't want to go all the way down to the deep dermis or the subcutaneous tissue. You just want to go into either the sip superficial layer or like the very tip of the dermis um but anyway this is a great pen it has eight different settings so at one it's the slowest and then you get up through eight obviously and it goes faster and when i say fast and slow what i mean is it's it it feels like it's vibrating, but what it's really doing is it's pushing the cartridge's needles up and down and up and down, and so the faster you make it go, the quicker it's going to be going up and down, and um, you can adjust the depth of the needles, so how far the pen actually pushes the needles in the cartridge up. So let's say you want to go to the lowest, uh, which would be 0.25 millimeters, which if you don't have a, a strong enough pen, probably won't even penetrate the um, epidermis layer. It'll probably just kind of bounce off your skin and uh, make scratches. So you want to make sure that you have a strong enough pen with cartridges cartridges that have needle or pins that are strong enough um like steel grade medical steel grade sterile that are pointed on the tips so that they actually penetrate through the skin and don't just bounce off or scratch the surface of your skin. So right now we have it on the lowest setting, which is 0.25. So that's just going to be basically an exfoliant for your skin. Um, and what we want to do is, because we don't want to just exfoliate, we actually want to put this product into our skin now, the challenge here is how this opens. It's good that it's safety sealed, but it's not great when you can't figure out how to open it. I guess I should have opened it beforehand or at least figured out how it opens. Ruining my nails. Um, ah! Figured it out. Maybe. Got it! So with the PDRN, regardless of which brand you get, if you end up not using the whole ampule, you want to um, put the top back on it and put it in the refrigerator. And I've read that it's only good for about a week once you've opened it. And because they say don't use it again for three to four weeks because you can't regrow or produce enough new collagen and regenerate new skin cells that quickly that it would be worth it. Instead of just throwing it away, you might as well at least put it on topically because when you're putting on skin creams topically, though they're not going to penetrate your skin very much, they do penetrate or you absorb it around like 3%, whereas with microneedling, you're going to absorb a lot more than that. And obviously that's because it's going directly into your skin. Okay, so right away I notice this is as liquidy as water, so this is going to be a challenge to get it on my skin thick enough 
to actually, <laughs> uh, to actually get it to, uh, go into the skin with the microneedle because it's kind of running everywhere. By the way, since this is just the second episode, I do want to let you know that we will be getting a better camera so that you'll be able to see what I'm using and exactly what I'm doing and the details much better. The graphics should be better so that I don't look pale and pink, but you can actually see the details of my skin and what's happening with the products, if it matters. I don't know. I tend to like to be able to see exactly what I'm looking at when I'm watching tutorials. So that's what the inside of the cartridge looks like. And I'm going to turn it on just so you can, on the first level, so you can see. Well, that's not good. <sighs> Oh, I think it has to be at zero when I start. No, it doesn't. Oh, I have to hold it. Okay. Hold it for two seconds or three seconds. Right now, it is at zero. So it's actually not even going up at the needles. Okay. So it's at 0.25. And on the lowest setting. Oh, it hurts when you get to the thinner skin, I must admit. And it appears this product is absorbed very quickly. Either that or my skin is very dry. Don't mind my funny faces <laughs> I make whenever I'm really concentrating. I tend to move my mouth in odd ways. Yeah, this isn't, um, this is really difficult to Micro needle with because it's so thin that the skin just absorbs it right away, so you don't get a chance to push it through. I think that's why most people use mesotherapy to do this product as opposed to micro needling. And mesotherapy is where um, instead of using like a push in method like this, you have needles about the same depth, but you have like a something else that's connected to the pen that doesn't push it through the need doesn't push the product through the needles, but through another part so that the needles and the product meet to, at the skin at the same time. Mesotherapy can also um, be done with like a four millimeter syringe or yeah, four millimeter needle. Micro needling is also very good for people who have acne or pigment issues. Obviously, you want to choose a good product to use when you're doing that. And normally, I would spend a lot more time on each section of my face, but as I said, this particular product, and I'm not sure if it's the, br the individual brand or if it's just the product, the PDRN product itself, which... I've wanted to try for a long time. And there's another similar product, which is just called PN. Um, 
and it's also DNA from fish, and it's made by a company called Regerin, and it's actually available at Ace Cosm, but that one comes in syringes, but you don't have to use a needle. You can do it with microneedling, and I'm wondering if maybe the consistency of that would work better. But, as I was saying, if you have acne or rosacea, uh, microneedling is great for that, because one of the things you can do for acne, though, it certainly would hurt, but um, it's supposedly very effective. It's salty. I didn't mean to get it. Oh, God. I didn't mean to get it in my mouth. I swear. Um, if uh, you have it on a high setting or even a low setting, and you want to make sure that instead of moving in circles or in sections going up and down, if uh, you have a thicker product or if you have acne and you have something that's uh, either like salicylic acid or glycolic acid, um, maybe not that because you don't want to push that into your skin. Um, you don't even want to push Retin-A into your skin. Uh, just something that is maybe hydrating but doesn't have a lot of oil or um, fats that can clog your pores and promote more acne growth. Uh, what you can do <clears throat> is put it on either, you, you can put it on a, if you really want to push a product in deep, then what you want to do is put it up to quite a high setting, but you want to work your way up to that because if you do that right away, you will suffer the next day. I made the mistake of putting it all the way up to 2.5, thinking, this is nothing, it's so small, these needles are so short, they're not going to do anything. And so I saw a tutorial where if you want to push the product in deep, then instead of going in circles, you... just like that, and you can see already how red that gets me, and it's not that that's um, the motivation, you, you know, you're not trying to make your skin red, but what you're trying to do is, instead of moving the product around and spreading it into the channels that you've opened in your skin, you want to actually push it, push, first of all, you want to push holes into the channels in your skin as deep as you can and then put product over those channels or just dab it on. So then it's already getting into the openings of the channels, but then you take the pen and then you push it, dab it back on over the product. So now you're pushing it in even more. But again, I would, if if you're gonna take it up to the highest level, you really should work your way up to that. You don't want to do that right away, because, um, as I said, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> and, uh, the first time I did this, and I only did my labial folds, which are right in here, because I was hoping that it would help with wrinkles. Um, but I did that dabbing motion with, um, Matrixel 3000, which is a great product, by the way. And the next day, not only was my skin on fire, like, it literally felt like it had been burned, but my labial folds, which I had done the whole 2.5 millimeters with, um, were bright red, and I think I even made myself bleed a little bit, uh, if you've ever seen the famous, um, picture on either Instagram or Twitter or one of those 
things of Kim Kardashian, where she has blood all over her face, and it says, like, plasma facial, which is a thing. They actually, doctors do remove blood from your arm, and they'll put it uh, through a machine to separate the plasma from the red blood cells, and then they'll just rub the plasma on the face, just like you would a product like we are, and... Sorry, I'm going to take this up to a higher level, so it's moving faster, but it's still at a low level. Uh, but anyway, you see her in the chair of the plastic surgeon that she went to to have this facial done, and she was the first one I had heard of that had this new plasma facial done, um, but she also had this micro-needling done at the same time to push the plasma into her face, and they obviously went very deep for her, and so it made her skin bleed, so she ended up having not just a plasma facial, but a complete blood facial, basically. They just kind of... I've seen other people do this, too. It's not my thing, but it supposedly has... I mean, you have your own stem cells and your own nutrients, and it's your own blood, but... I don't know. Um, but if you go too deep, or if you're just too rough with it, or if you're just a, a bleeder, um, very often you'll start to bleed in little spots that have opened around your skin, and uh, people will just kind of rub it around their face and either let it sit or put a silicone mask on to let it, you know, sit and stay hydrated and hopefully penetrate those open channels, which when uh, we open these channels on our face and our skin, I should have put my hair back. Um, they stay open for, whoa, I'm losing so much of this, for <laughs> about two hours. So, though you don't want to layer on a ton of different products because the openings are small enough where if you just keep pushing in all these different products because you assume like, oh, hey, they're open, I might as well add this too, and this is good. Um, it's not a great idea because there's those 0.2 millimeter holes can only hold so much at one time that you're going to end up overflowing the channels and all of the gold <laughs> that we just spent putting into them is going to overflow first, so you're basically going to lose the most important product. And that's why I see a lot of people put um, masks on uh, right after they microneedle to do some extra hydration and to keep their face moist so that it kind of has time to penetrate and just sit and not immediately dry up in the holes and channels that they've opened. But I often wonder if that you should wait like 30 minutes or something to put a mask on because masks are already so wet or moist. <laughs> And, um, I would just worry that by pushing that extra product into those openings in your skin, that you'd end up pushing out the good product. And I could be completely wrong about this. This is just my own theory, but, and I'm sure I'll get enough messages saying, where'd you get that from? That's not true. You really shouldn't be telling this. To people when you don't know what you're talking about. 
I'm not telling anyone to do this. I'm just sharing with you what I've discovered. By the way, what I'm doing right now is, um, because these channels are already opened, and I didn't do my nails, I realized that, I'm, since there's extra product left in the ampule, I'm just <clears throat> adding more to, in hopes that they'll be absorbed in the openings that we've just created in our skin, or that I have anyway. Now, by tomorrow, I will definitely be putting on a lot of masks, I know, because the day after, the face is always dry, for me, anyway, it's always dry, and it's, it's always, it always feels, like, raw and red, and, um, so I'm always looking for a good cooling gel to use the day after, or even the night of. Like, by tonight, I'll be suffering. Um, even though I used it on the lowest setting. Um, yeah, that's just the way it is. But, to be honest, I love microneedling. And I think it's an amazing invention. And, uh, there's a woman who's an APRN who specializes in cosmetology, aesthetics, uh, but in the medical world, because she's a medical nurse, and she doesn't believe in any of, you know, the, you know, niche things, or, uh, like, things that are just kind of here today, gone tomorrow type things. But she was actually the one who told me about microneedling seems to be having some pretty good results with the right products. And because I was telling her how there are certain patches on my cheeks that seem to be coming, not leathery, but just starting to look like they've had too many miles on them <laughs> or something. Um, and because you don't want to put dermal filler or Botox in your cheeks right here because you don't want volume there. And if you put Botox there, then you begin to look like you had a stroke. So she she actually surprised me when she mentioned microneedling because I thought of that as another thing that she would say, nah, doesn't work. Because that's what she seems to think about most of the new, you know, in things. But, um... I have to ask her next time I see her or talk to her exactly which products she thinks. Wow, I still have more of this left. All right, we'll do a little more of this then. I think I'll take it not up to a bigger depth, but to a higher speed. Just going to put my hair back because I already have this stuff in my hair, but I'd like to prevent any more. There are pens that are more professional grade pens out there, but like the doctor pens, like the one I'm using right now, um, are inexpensive. Well, when I say inexpensive, I mean you're not going to pay hundreds of dollars for them. It also depends on where you get them. Uh, the actual doctor pen site, you're going to spend more money at at than you will if you buy off of Amazon or eBay. Just be very careful and cognizant of from whom you're buying them and how many reviews they have and what percentage of those reviews are good. Ah! Eye skin is very gentle. And thin. If you're wondering why my eyes look black underneath, it's because I had a little mascara on, and the uh, the 
product because it's so liquidy obviously got on it and it's drooling down my eyes now fun fun stuff it's all fun um but anyway yeah getting back to the prices and different pens my advice just based on my own experience is um you don't unless you expect to become an uh a cosmetologist or a beautician or um an esthetician or a doctor that works in um plastics and fillers and all that you really don't need like a two thousand dollar pen because um it's it's kind of like you know buying a bmw or a mercedes they're both great cars they both get you from a to b um one is more expensive than the other but they're both recognizable names and they're both respectable cars and they're both going to last you a good amount of time. One just has a few extra perks and maybe, eh, maybe not even a little more speed, but just a little more finesse. Okay, I think we've done enough. I actually feel, oh wait a minute, I didn't do my temples. Not that you have to stay here for that. Oh, that well, we're out of liquid. So, oh well, can't do it. <laughs> we'll just do that and say we did it and we're done. All right, guys. That was micro needling with Ellen Muth. Thank you for joining me. I really do appreciate it. I love having you guys back and um I'm so glad that you came to see my second video. And I look forward to seeing you again next time. I'm not sure what we'll be doing, but I'm sure it will be something fun. Okay, have a good day, guys. Thank you again. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like this. And please subscribe. Thank you.